I don't want to be so insulting to women. I like women. I am a woman. I'm a heterosexual, but I'm just saying. Women are great. I'm great. Anyway. Hey YouTube, welcome back to We Sibs West Coast East Coast Siblings where we cover your favorite movies and TV shows and tonight we are covering She-Hulk episode 4. Sorry I missed last week you guys, I was super sick and of course that's the week where Megan Thee Stallion showed up and started twerking up a storm. Oh that was so awkward, I'll never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think we can all agree that this show is absolute trash. I looked at a bunch of reviews while I was sick and pretty much everyone hates it. But then I, or not hates it, it's just like it's such a disappointment on so many levels. So we're going to get into that in a second, but first let's just do a quick review of what happened in the 30 minutes that was She-Hulk episode 4. So basically this episode is super boring. I mean, I think, I hate to be such a Debbie Downer, but to be honest, Worst episode so far. There's a magician named Donnie Blaze who sounds vaguely familiar to me, but I don't know why. So let me know in the comments if I'm missing something important. I doubt it. He's a sort of fake magician and he uh, was a student at Comertage for a little bit and uh, then got kicked out because he did something wrong, whatever. Anyway, he's fake using magic. It upsets Wong. Wong wants to sue him I guess and so he calls Jennifer Jennifer tries to be the in-between and work this kind of Jennifer is also on dating apps and she is trying to put herself out there but she starts to realize that maybe people are only interested in her as She-Hulk and not as Jennifer so she goes on a, a date as She-Hulk and she meets this guy who's like you know the man of her dreams and you know he's a doctor this that and the other thing and uh things go well and wake up the next morning and he doesn't really want Jen he wants She-Hulk and so he deuces then she finds out that uh Titania Titania mum mum girl Titania yeah Titania is suing her for the She-Hulk name because apparently Titania came up with it before She-Hulk did okay so as I said this episode is trash a few things I want to point out when they're fighting the little demons that Donnie accidentally lets loose and you know Wong uh, has to save the day he calls Jennifer why no clue she's literally useless she's just kind of flinging demons into the hole but the problem is uh, there's so many of them at some point you know her flinging them around is relatively useless and Wong does this circle-y thing and sucks them all back into the hole anyway so it's like bro you didn't need Jennifer at all why were you blowing up her phone like Sorry, trying not to be a Debbie Downer. Anyway, one thing that I really realized, I think a lot of people that I've been seeing online have been complaining about who is this show for? Because it's clearly not for superhero fans. It's clearly not for She-Hulk fans. And it's really not for kids. Like, the content is a little too mature. It's not for people who love drama of the week shows. It's a half hour show. Like it's kind of all over the place. It's not a comedy or maybe it is, but it's not funny. And I started to realize, I think the show is purely made for women in their thirties who have nothing better to do. I don't know. I don't know. I think I kind of fit in this age bracket. I'm not 30. Not the third, there's nothing wrong with being 30. Anyway, you know, there's a lot of commentary on dating, especially in LA, you know, on the back half of your 20s, your early 30s, mid 30s, whatever. I want to say that it's like for girls, you know, because even I, as a girl, I love the like softer moments in superhero stories. You know, I love a good romance in the midst of a great comic book story saga. And I even like the slower episodes of TV shows sometimes because we get some more character. We get to really see them as a person as opposed to the constant smashing and mystery solving. But there was no, I mean, there was just nothing great about this episode, you guys. Dang, I'm sorry I'm chewing this gum. I had to chew gum to stay awake through this. I mean, I didn't laugh at all. The CGI truly is bad and I feel like it's truly getting worse. The only upside, and I hate to be like this, but I'm only looking forward to daredevil at this point i mean there's nothing else going on the story is boring i don't care i was kind of on the fence about jennifer but at this point it's like she's really not likable i just feel like she's not a fully developed character which is unfortunate because tatiana i think is a fabulous actress i loved orphan black you know the i didn't finish it but i loved the episodes the season that i saw uh, but it's not her fault it truly is the writer's fault it really does feel like it was a bunch of writers in the room mostly female, you know, having a wine night, talking about misogyny and how the man has ruined their lives and how they can't progress forward and how dating in Los Angeles sucks and how, don't get me wrong, there's a place for that. 
it is not in Marvel comic book TV shows. Like, what? Maybe I'm saying things that are too controversial, but I just, gosh, it was bad. And it, it's insulting. It's insulting to us who are real fans of comic books. And don't get me wrong, Marvel has done their fair share of, you know, just like, sucky tv shows you know they're not great at tv but wandavision was great loki was great i even liked winter soldier i didn't finish moon knight but even miss marvel was not bad at <laughs> daredevil <laughs> the punisher <laughs> so clearly marvel can get it right sometimes you know when they are specific with their audience i think the best thing to do is don't stray from your roots. It is a comic book show. Give us action. Give us a good storyline. Give us some characters with some real grit, with some real heart. She has no heart. Does she even care about her superhero clients? I don't think so. It feels like all she cares about is being a lawyer and not necessarily a great lawyer at that. Just a better lawyer than the men. So it's insulting on, like, as a comic book fan. It's insulting as a woman. We're so much more than our woman only problems. The world is a lot bigger than that and we have a lot more to contribute than our gripes with men. You know, just saying. Hot take. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just like going off on a tangent. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like this video if you like this video. Comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you can keep track of all the things that we're covering here. We are covering Lord of the Rings. I just missed it last week because I was sick. We're definitely still doing Game of Thrones. I also missed that because I was sick. But I'm back and I'm posting. I want to know your thoughts. Let's let's get into this a little bit. You know, there's a huge discussion going on online. Let's, let's throw in our two cents, you know? At least we've gotten through the first four. Everyone who saw the screen acknowledge that they kind of suck. I'm hoping that this back half is better than the front half. One thing is for certain, Daredevil is definitely going to be in the next episode. Maybe more than one. Wouldn't that be lovely? Ugh, and then what are they gonna do to him? Are they gonna ruin him too? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!